In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, the alert notifications and how to see what we're looking at. Right now, we're going to go ahead and move from base velocity to high res reflectivity. We're going to go look at the alerts. You've got a tornado emergency, which we've looked at in a previous video. Now you've got tornado warning, severe thunderstorm, flash flood. Let's take a look at a tornado warning. Now again, you'll notice when you get this, these are just the warnings, but it will tell you this is a particularly dangerous storm. Take cover now. So you can click on the radar and go look at it, or you can go and look at one. For the purposes of this, we're going to jump down to this one that's still got about an hour left on it. It's particularly dangerous, but we'll be able to look at it. So we're going to click the globe, and it's going to take us directly to that. And it's, I'm assuming, in this area right here. So I'm going to go to my high-res velocity and look and see, and that looks like right, either right here, looks like that's going to be your rotation from what I can see. And again, I can click here and see a tornado warning and look at it, and it will tell me um, Kalamazoo County, which is where we are. And it will be near Kalamazoo, Portage, Northwest, Westwood. It will tell you what cities it will be close to. So we'll go ahead now and close that out. And then I'm going to take my tool here and see wind speeds are 20 to 30, and then the back speeds are further out, uh, not, not as bad, but it looks like a little rotation in this area and nothing there. So you can look at this and see where that tornado is. Okay, there's Galesburg and Kalamazoo. So we're, we're this close to it. And again, as you get closer, now you can see your speeds. And the, the more you zoom in, the better you can read your speeds. Okay? Again, using your phone to zoom in, two fingers and spread, which will zoom it in, to zoom back out to a larger overview, two fingers and squeeze in. So that's how you're going to be looking at this. Now, again, we can hit the animation button. And you can see where that moved through. It starts here. And it's got that red and green. That's where your rotation is. And so you've got that going in right there. Now, one thing you can look at, you've got these storms right here. You've got a starting spot. If you tap on that, it will give you the direction and the speed and information such as how hard it's raining. And I think the VIL has is hail. But what you can do is look at this and then you can click on It'll be at this area, click the blue spot at 521, 531, and so forth, just like they do on TV. Now, it's moving at 43 miles an hour. I can take this estimation tool myself, and if I want to stretch this out, I can start here and stretch it right up to here. And then I can put 43 miles per hour and calculate it, and it will show me when it should be in these different locations. So in seven minutes, it will be in Leonidas. And if you scroll in, you can find out where Leonidas is, or if you just go in here and do Leonidas, Michigan, and it will show you where that is. And there's the line that we drew. So, again, you got the cone of probability. It doesn't run right along the straight line. 
but then you can say if you wanted to, you could actually take this and see that it's two miles off center point. So there's lots of things you can do with this. And again, we'll just uh, look at this and we can see our different alerts. The tornado emergency is over, your tornado warning. If you want to go look at Hillsdale, we'll look down here. I don't see it, but it, it may be in this area here. Um, I'm not sure. But that's how you use the tornado warning tool. Same thing with the severe thunderstorm tool. St. Joseph, Michigan, you'll go over here and you will see uh, wherever St. Joseph, Michigan is, it's right in here. These items, when they're items right here, when you're looking at tornadoes, let's just go back to the tornado alert. Let's go to Grant, Indiana. When you are looking at this, and this just it just updated, you can always look and see uh, what the latest time this image is from. We're at 529. Um, let's see if I can find another tornado because that one seemed to have um, let's look at Calhoun, Michigan. Okay, we've got the the different reds and the greens. Down here, you can see the red and the green are side by side. That's called a couplet. And you can see here, this particular place where the radar hit it, <coughs> it's at 8.9 miles per hour. Right beside it, it's negative four. So these winds are going in opposite directions. You've noticed it when you've looked out in your yard before and seen wind going in different directions, uh, upper levels, lower levels. Same thing over here. You've got this one right here. This one is at 17 miles an hour, and the run right behind it is at negative 15 miles an hour. Or not negative, but it's going 15 miles an hour in the other direction. When you get a lot of those together, I think that's where you're getting your spin rate. Okay. Um, severe thunderstorm warnings. Again, you can look and see where they are. Here's one in North Carolina, 60 mile an hour winds. So we can just jump right down there that quickly. We don't have to go look for it. And you can see right here, where you've got these couplets. And there's six, two. I don't know where they're seeing that, but then again, I'm not a meteorologist. But that's how you can that's how you can use that. 